we're gonna put a message on the cake, right? Yes. We're gonna like, and I think we're gonna say uh, free, free Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Yes, that's free Hong Kong. On this cake today. Uh, I'm with Becca, Becca Ray Holloway. Yes. Becca Ray Holloway, the sweet feminist. Yeah. You have this amazing following, this huge following of people who tune into your thinking, uh, your feminist progressivism, um, and you know, people are buying a food you know, and other people. And I'm so glad to hear it. I'm so excited to be here with you. Yeah. Yeah, so today we're making a lemon cake with a vanilla butter. A lemon cake with vanilla butter. Yes. Okay. My Auntie Tony and my mom are going to love this. Great. We're going to start by sesame seed lemons. Okay. Like that Should I, job. That's what I do? Okay. Yes. Now, which, which one of these? I'm going to this one. This one. Yes. Okay. And we just kind of uh, yep. try to avoid getting the tip of that. Yep. Right, just... So tell me about how you got your start. In politics? Uh, yes. Well, I would say it was like started in the fifth grade. Fifth grade, my interest was peaked when my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Still, just assigned me a book report to do. It was not a book report, it's like a report on presents. We were all assigned to presents. Um, I was assigned to Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and I learned about his dog, Fala. And um, I learned about Eleanor Roosevelt. And that got me started. And then I would say that uh, every November, we would watch this documentary show that would show up on Channel 5 in Southern California. And it, was, it would only show up on the anniversary of John Kennedy's assassination. I remember it. Please show me that. <laughs> Yeah, don't waste those. Don't waste the zest. That really gave us all right. So Asian, Asians have no pathway, no way to naturalize. So it was illegal. There's no. And so they made it. The only way you can get home is for to the little language. Um, if you're in, say, a Japanese, Japanese descent, my grandmother. Uh, if you married during this period of time, at this time. You lost your citizenship. You became a Japanese national, and uh, you couldn't naturalize there. So you kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. wonder why. Did you see how yeah. it was a little different for people who married, say, a German national, because a German national could become a citizen. Oh, I see. You see, I see. Yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so you see how racism. Right. And this is what's this known as structural. Right. Structural ways. Right. It's built into the wall. Right. right? So, uh. Okay, okay we've we're going to tap them out. Yep. We're getting rid of the bubbles, right? Yes. Uh, right. Nancy Pelosi has these myths that she does. <laughs> call it too hot to handle. And I think, <laughs> I think Congressman Pocan is the one who printed those myths at his print shop. But she has this thing to about making issues too hot to handle. You know, that, uh, that's funny. Yeah. You don't want to touch. Yeah. No. Alright. We're going this ball and all over the Alright, so 28 minutes. Okay. So. Oh, look. It's time. It's time to take out the cake. Alright. Alright, we have racks set up here. We have racks. Yeah, a little more than that. So you can't frost a cake without food. Yeah, no, I've, I've learned that because I've had my impatience. And my impatience as a uh -huh. child, I remember my mother saying you have to like have it completely cool because yeah. I'm used to this mess. Yeah, I mean, the buttercream melts. It's not worth it. No. I did that, you know, maybe like a year ago. I was like brushing the cake with the cake that was so hot. And it split, like the top layers just like, oh. they split off. It was not worth it. Oh, no. So, yeah. the people who work in the restaurant industry, it's really fun, interesting people. And like, you're, you're a part of making 
someone's day better. Like now, if you go into a bakery, so that's probably your day. And so that's nice to be able to walk in, they smell the stuff, they yeah. see the things in the yeah. room. It's a spray case. Uh-huh. Okay. Third layer. Let me turn them over because the bottom is flat. Oh, so. okay. Hey, that's a pretty cool little tip there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Looks pretty flat to me. Oh, that's put a little cloud yeah. on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's relatively free of curls, so you can yeah. get a nice. Yeah, one thing you can do is put a really thin layer of frosting around the entire thing and put it in the fridge for like 10 minutes. Call the crumb coat and make sure that you don't get crumbed all over. Your beautiful frosting. Uh-huh. Um, crumb coat. Mm-hmm. The reason why I wanted you wanted to have this opportunity to bake with you, beyond our shared club of like creating food, mm-hmm. creative food, is you have this very it's not just about food for you, it's also about having right. a, having a political voice, right? right? And using your following mm-hmm. to have these discussions mm-hmm. and um um, we, we have a shared interest in, in, the, in the future of Hong Kong. Absolutely. And standing with the young people. Actually, it's not just young people, it's all across lines, but the, I think you felt what I felt in the summer like, how can we help the people of Hong Kong? Like, we don't want to bring down China, it's not like, but we also want China uh, to see that taking down Hong Kong and taking apart the constitutional democratic foundations of Hong Kong is the wrong thing to do. Absolutely. Right? Yes, absolutely. So um, we're going to put a message on the cake, right? Yes. We're gonna, like, I think we're going to say uh, free, free Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Yes, that's free what's going on the cake today. Okay. And we're also doing a yellow umbrella. A yellow umbrella. We have a so we have a little template here. <laughs> a little, we have an umbrella template. A umbrella template. Well, a little template. <laughs> and, and the umbrella symbolizes the battle for freedom in Hong Kong. Yeah. Because the protesters there would carry umbrellas. Right. Um, to protect themselves. From tear gas. From tear gas. Mm-hmm. Tear gas can open and they wear goggles. That's right, and, yes. Uh, and so the umbrella has become a symbol of freedom. Absolutely, yes. Like the torch, yes. the sense of liberty. Right. Um, this, I'm getting kind of emotional yeah. about this whole thing. So yeah. you just sort of put it there to kind of... This is our guide. Our guide, yes. okay. Where would you put the umbrella, like here? Yeah, I think one here can be nice. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we're finished making our free Hong Kong cake. And what a beautiful cake it is. And uh, gosh, how sweet the symbol of freedom, mm-hmm. this new symbol of freedom, the umbrella. Yep. And it's sweet, just like the sweet numbers. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>